Hi everyone, welcome to VRC with Gaurav. In this video, we are going to take a look at RC passage number 21 from the book RC 99 by Aristotle Prep. As usual, I recommend that you pause the video here, read the entire passage on your own, then use the timestamp that I've put in the description box for accessing the questions, jot down the answers. Always a good idea to have a timer running in parallel before you read the passage and uh, jot down the time that you take to read the passage, solve the questions, everything. Then come back to the point and check the explanation as well as whether the answers are right or not. Okay. So without any delay, let's get started. Now coming to the content of the passage, very straightforward, very easy actually even. People who are accustomed to reading just even a little bit of uh, science would be able to handle it. And as you can see, there are only three questions to it. Easy doable RC passage. Uh, although I have problem with one question, we'll get the, I'll explain when we get there. Coming to the narrative, coming to the content. Author wants to discuss with you about uh, the harmful effects of pesticides and in a, in a very particular geographical location. The part that he has picked up in the passage for discussion is Western USA. Okay. Now, unlike previous passages, uh, I think a couple of videos ago uh, before this one in I think 18 or 19, I put together uh, the maps of US uh, across different time frames and all to make you explain, to make you understand uh, the, the story that the author is painting. But here you need not be aware of the geography of USA. You can, even if you are completely unaware of uh, where, which position, which place is located, you can crack this passage completely without it. And I'll show you in this video how to do that. Okay. So author starts off by saying that they go, yes, pesticides are good, useful for uh, agriculture, but, and he very quickly jumps into the harmful effects. He starts talking about that deco boss it has a very serious poses a very serious harm to wildlife as well as human beings okay and which are the areas which pesticides damages specifically with respect to reproduction development and behavior okay all of which are very serious issues uh, serious concerns if pesticides are harming animals what is the actual mechanism at the molecular level at the elemental level what is happening author says that deco pesticides have these chemical by the name of organophosphates okay now this is a very pretty long name and you can uh, feel a little bit overwhelmed by usage of this scientific technical names throughout the RC. Essay time pe, a little bit easy paraphrasing can help you. Okay. So instead of writing pura organophosphate, we can write OP only. Okay. What does the OP do? It interferes with the enzyme cholinesterase or cholinosterase. I don't know how to pronounce it. So let's call it as uh, CH. Okay. So OP basically damages this uh, enzyme in our body let's use it as okay ch all right what about it then what happens it is needed this this enzyme it is needed for proper functioning of nervous system uh, of insects humans as well as other vertebrates basically a lot of wildlife relies on this enzyme in their body and what happens if uh, we get a lot of op inside us uh, this gets damaged heavily and it can even cause death okay and the first indicator of the absorption uh, of this of this chemical OP is a reduction in the enzyme cholinesterase. And what is very remarkable, contact with insecticide is the only known cause of a marked depression. Excellent, excellent. So crucial information coming in. What is given to us is that deco boss, if uh, if this organophosphate increase in our body. What takes a toll? The enzyme definitely goes down in volume, goes down in quantity inside our body. Okay, so an inverse proportional uh, relation has been shown before us. And another thing is that this this enzyme in our body does not go down for any reason except organophosphate. So if at all you find a living organism, just can there may this enzyme has gone down in value, 100% guarantee, 100% guarantee that this has come into its body. Matlab, aapko in pesticide or insecticide ka pakka pakka exposure hua hai if this enzyme has gone down because there is literally no other reason for, because of which this enzyme can go down in the body. Okay? Pretty interesting, pretty important information moving ahead now. So to validate this uh, theory that has been this hypothesis that has been put before the put before the reader by the author, a study he is citing before us. What is the study? Uh, we are taking a look at frogs, adult frogs as well as little young frogs. Okay. Okay, offspring of frogs, which are called as tadpoles. Okay, and very specific uh, species also, Pacific tree frogs, Kahase. Sierra Nevada, both northern and southern areas. Okay, for now, keep this name in mind. 
Sierra Nevada. Okay, all right. What about it? And also to its west. So effectively, we have this place Sierra Nevada. It's the north, south, as well as the western area. Three areas say samples of tadpoles and frogs have been collected and analyzed. In the body, me, kya chal raha hai? ठीक है. What happened? What happened? The information presented now in the closing sentences of uh, uh, the the second paragraph actually thoda sa intense hai. So let me explain this to you through some appropriate diagram. Okay. The part which I am highlighting in green right now. ये सारा पार्ट क्या कहने की कोशिश करता है इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग लॉस्ट इन द वर्ड प्ले लेट मी यूज सम काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम टाइप इमेज टू शो यू ओके सो इट्स इट्स गिवन दैट ओके वी हैव लेट अस से दिस इज सियरा नेवाडा ठीक है ऑलराइट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ओवर हियर कोलिनोस्टेरिस लेवल्स दे वर सिग्निफिकेंटली लोअर इन टैडपोल्स कहां पे माउंटेंस ईस्ट ऑफ सैन हुआकिन वैली ओके सो This this enzyme is pretty low in a particular area. Now, where is San Joaquin? We don't know. Its ke east me hai. Jo tadpoles humne liye. Okay. And for your information, uh, sorry, for your information, uh, this is this is the diagram that we will refer. Okay. This is north. This is east, south, and west. Okay. All right. What about it? Compared to compared to similar sites farther north in Sierra Nevada, which lie east of Sacramento Valley. Where agriculture activity is less intense. ठीक है. So what does it mean? If this is Sierra Nevada, okay. So ये रहा north का part. And it it lies to the east of east of what? Sacramento Valley. Basically, we have Sacramento Valley here. Okay. And uh, to the east is this area which I have shaded in yellow. All right. Okay. So what about it now? यहां पर जो टैटपोल्स है दे आर बेटर ऑफ ओके दे आर बेटर ऑफ कंपेयर टू द टैटपोल्स विच आर देयर इन द सदर्न एरिया तो दिस इज दिस इज एंड द साउथ एरिया कहा है इट लाइज टू द ईस्ट ऑफ सैन होन वैली ओके सो बेसिकली हियर वी हैव सैन होन वैली सो दिस इज द पिक्चर डेट हैज बीन पेंटेड एंड व्हाट इज रिमार्केबल व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सैक्रामेंटो वैली एंड सैन होन वैली इट इज दैट इट इज गिवन टू अस दैट सैन होन वैली सैक्रामेंटो वैली सैक्रामेंटो वैली इज वेर एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज लेस इंटेंस so what is happening here this has less agriculture so obviously who has more agriculture san joaquin valley more intense agriculture more agriculture we can say theek hai so this is the picture that has been painted before us in the second paragraph okay i hope that you have understood it through the diagram that i have made still if you have any doubt so you can drop the uh, comment in the comment section i'll help you out with any query all right moving ahead to the third paragraph lower uh, cholinesterase activity level they are correlated with distance away from the coast and toward higher elevations okay once again picture is not clear before us moving ahead very quickly uh, similar trends were also seen in adult frogs okay so basically tadpole or adults mein jo aapko pattern dikh raha hai kafi kuch match hota hai okay concentration of particular pesticides organophosphate pesticide they were also meant, uh, you know मेजर्ड ठीक है सो हम सिर्फ ये कोलिनोस्टेरिस को एनालाइज नहीं कर रहे हैं वी आर आल्सो एनालाइजिंग डायरेक्टली द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस पेस्टिसाइड ऑर्गेनोफॉस्पिट्स व्हाट इज कमिंग आउट मोर देन 50 परसेंट एट योसेमिटी ओके योसेमिटी नेशनल पार्क हैड मेजरेबल लेवल्स ऑफ दिस कंपेयर टू ओनली नाइन परसेंट एट कोस्टल साइट वेरी रिमार्केबल वेरी रिमार्केबल ठीक है योसेमिटी दिस इज अ नेशनल पार्क यहां पर जो फ्रॉग्स है उनके अंदर 50 परसेंट फ्रॉग्स में यू आर गेटिंग दिस ऑर्गेनोफॉस्पेट बट इफ यू गो टू द कोस्टल एरिया यू हैव ओनली 9 परसेंट हैविंग दैट केमिकल सो व्हाट डज दिस से दैट इफ यू मूव अवे फ्रॉम द कोस्ट इफ यू मूव अवे फ्रॉम द सी शोर देन द प्रेजेंस द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनोफॉस्पेट इन योर बॉडी वेरी लाइकली टू गो अप ठीक है दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन कमिंग इन ऑलराइट लेट मी लेट मी क्रिएट सम स्पेस टू जॉट दिस डाउन मे बी
okay further from the sea higher the organophosphate in your body and that is why author has said this that uh, if you it was it was correlated with distance away from the coast yeah the lower choline sterase how does lower choline sterase happen because of higher organic phosphate very simple maths very simple straight forward jitna zyada ye utna kam ye aur ye aapko kaha kam mil raha hai jitna dur aap coast se ho so but naturally jitna dur aap coast se utna zyada aapke body mein ye and what is the proof you go to yosemite national park you have 50% frogs who have this chemical in their body but you go to the coast you have only 9% frogs who have it theek hai lucky bastards all right and what is very remarkable that these uh, pesticide they degrade very rapidly in your body but scientists found this chemicals actually present in the bodies of these frogs in yosemite park so what does it mean that they were exposed to this pesticide they were exposed to this chemicals very recently matlab scientists jab wo frogs ko collect karne ke liye gaye tab fresh fresh wo chemical unke body pe pahuncha hi tha okay why because once again it is given that otherwise these chemical they degrade very rapidly in your body either they will convert into other chemicals and spread in your blood ya fir the body manages to secrete them out quickly all right all right now what is happening some non consequential info is now given to us uh, red legged frog is now listed as threatened and other kinds of frogs are also on the way to getting listed as threatened theek hai theek hai all right moving ahead many amphibian population declines have occurred in some of the states most seemingly pristine areas wow amazing ye bahut acha usage hai and uncannily actually there is a question on this i think the very first question is on this most seemingly pristine areas what is what does it mean pristine matlab wow saaf sundar non polluted bhai yahan par to dana nahi hai ek ek dana nahi hai pollution ka clean air clean water everything's awesome author kehta hai aisi lagne wali jagah the places which look non polluted but what is happening in such areas amphibian population declines amphibians matlab animals which can live in water as well as on land sabse prominent example frogs hote hain theek hai they can live in water they can also live on land another example would be tortoise i think okay many species of tortoise can live in water also they swim and all and of course they move around on land as well theek hai so एक्वेटिक भी है टेरेस्ट्रियल भी है तो उनके बीच वाले को बोलते हैं ठीक है सो सच पर्टिकुलर एनिमल्स दे हैव गॉन डाउन इनका पॉपुलेशन हैज गॉन डाउन इन एरियाज जो उनको दिखने पर तो एकदम साफ सुथरी दिखती है बट बिहाइंड द सीन्स समथिंग बैड इज है ओके एंड व्हाट आर द एरियाज बहुत सारी लंबी लिस्ट दी है हमें सियारा नेवाडा ईस्टर्न कैलिफोर्निया सिकुआ नेशनल पार्क योसेमटी ब्ला 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 एज वेल एज लेक टेहो एंड माउंट वेटिंग बेसिकली वेरी लॉन्ग लिस्ट वेरी लॉन्ग इतने सारे एरिया जो आपको साफ सुथरे लगते हैं नॉन पोल्यूटेड लग रहे हैं वहां पे दिक्कत है मतलब कितना सिनिस्टर तरीके से कितना बियॉन्ड वॉट इज विजिबल बियॉन्ड वॉट इज ऑब्वियस बैड थिंग्स आर एंड फाइनली दर कम्स टू यू नो कॉलिंग स्पेड अस्पेड ठीक है डायरेक्ट सीधी बात अब वो करता है यहाँ पे कि देखो यार सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ सियरा नेवाडा लाई ईस्ट ऑफ द इंटेंसली एग्रीकल्चर सैन वैकन वैली सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ ये हमारा जो पैराफ्रेजिंग आपने जो डायग्राम बनाया था सेकंड पैरा में डेट इज कमिंग इन हैंडी नाउ सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ सियरा नेवाडा इट लाइज ईस्ट ऑफ द सैन वैकन वैली एंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन सैन वैकन इट इज वेरी इंटेंसली एग्रीकल्चर अब ज्यादा एग्रीकल्चर मतलब उतना ही पेस्टिसाइड इंसेक्टिसाइड वहां पर यूज होता है ऑल राइट right. so what is happening environmentally suspect okay they are not 100% sure but now they are strongly suspecting who is to blame for all this happening pesticide use may be responsible and because a lot of pesticide is used in this area this pesticide finds its way to this place and damages the areas which are placed over there okay that's it simple as that in comparison and contrast this area does not have very intense agriculture so isliye uske pados ke log pados ki janta पड़ोस के एनिमल्स थोड़े प्रोटेक्टेड है एंड हाउ इज दिस पेस्टिसाइड गेटिंग कैरीड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर विंड करंट्स इट हैज बीन गिवन टू अस ओके प्रीवेलिंग ईस्टवर्ड समर विंड्स हवा के जरिए पेस्टिसाइड इज गेटिंग कैरीड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर एंड दैट पेस्टिसाइड के बूंद के पेस्टिसाइड के मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हाटएवर दे फाइंड देयर वे इन द वाटर सिस्टम्स एवरीथिंग एंड वाटर में कौन रहता है आपके एक्वेटिक एंड एम्फीबियन एनिमल्स ऑलराइट एज सिंपल एज ठीक है तो राउंडिंग ऑफ द पैसेज वेरी क्विकली इन वन स्पेसिफिक एरिया ऑफ यूएस पेस्टिसाइड का स्प्रे सॉरी स्प्रेड 
is apparently damaging wildlife. And how does it damage? Pesticides have OP, organophosphate. If it goes up, cholinosteris comes down and cholinosteris can come down only because of this chemical. And scientists have done a survey experiment. It turns out that frogs in particular places suffer from this chemical going down. Matlab, pakka, those frogs are exposed to this. Matlab, the ecosystem, the environment there is very much polluted, very, very likely to be polluted, be, uh, polluted by this chemical. That's it. Okay. So, if you want, you can do this kind of paraphrasing by pausing the video here. I would like to move ahead and I'll clear the screen so that we can go to the questions. Okay. While I clear the question, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe the video. If you are interested in getting coaching in VRC from me, please go to the description box. You will find the name of my website as well as my contact numbers, mail ID. Please get me in, get me in touch with. Uh, please get in touch with me. My bad, sorry. Please get in touch with me uh, on the on that contact number or on the mail ID or even drop an inquiry through the website uh, regarding the current VRC batch details and I'll share it with you. Okay. All right. Moving ahead. Let's go. In the passage, the author most likely mentions what? Population declines have occurred in seemingly pristine areas. Yes. It is given over here. States most. Please pardon. Okay. States most seemingly pristine areas. Okay. Seemingly pristine. Matlab, lagta hai, but boss hai nahi. Okay. Why? What is happening? Because beyond what is visible to your naked eye or casual observation, behind the scenes, the ecosystem is getting polluted and that is why amphibian population is declining massively and they can decline only because of the pesticide intervention. Okay. So, what is, what is the answer for this? Answer would be answer option C. Environmental damage and its causes may not be apparent to casual observer. That is why seemingly pristine. दिखने में तो सब साफ सुथरा दिख रहा है सुंदर झाड़ सुंदर जंगल साफ पानी बट बॉस आपको क्या पता आज हजार मेंढक थे कल 500 ही हो गए ओप्स राइट ओके अदर ऑप्शंस आर प्रीटी सिंपल शुड बी एबल टू रिजेक्ट देम स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट इन एवीडीई ड्रॉप इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई ट्राई टू रिप्लाई टू यू एएसएफ ओके लेट्स गो अहेड ओके With respect to pesticide, the author takes time to assert what? Uh, takes time ka meaning kya hota hai? Ki tike thodi deir baad bola usne passage mein. Meaning, towards the end regarding pesticide, something has been given. Now, this is a question which as far as my copy of Aristotle RC99 is concerned, the official answer given in my book is option D. And I am very, very sure, very, very sure that this is LOL. Okay, why LOL? क्वेश्चन क्या पूछता है ऑथर टेक्स टाइम टू असर्ट कि पेस्टिसाइड के बारे में कुछ बात एंड व्हाट इज द ऑफिशियल आंसर दैट पेस्टिसाइड हैव बेनिफिट्स इन एग्रीकल्चर एप्लीकेशन डूड डूड यू लिटरली स्टार्टेड द पैसेज विद दैट पेस्टिसाइड यूज्ड इन एग्रीकल्चर हेल्प इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन व्हाट काहे का टाइम नो टाइम यू स्टार्टेड विद दैट दैट इज व्हाट किक 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 स्टार्ट द पैसेज विद दैट ओके Absolutely unacceptable option D as the answer. ठीक है बिल्कुल भी मैं एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर सकता एंड हु एवर मेड द क्वेश्चन एंड द ऑप्शन एंड इवन वेंट अहेड एंड ड्रॉप द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड आंसर फॉर दिस पक्का लो क्वालिटी वीड दैट गाई वॉज स्मोकिंग सो वेरी वेरी श्योर दैट ऑप्शन डी कैन नॉट बी द आंसर ठीक है आई डोंट नो इन अदर कॉपीज इन अदर एडिशन दे माइट हैव रेक्टिफाइड दिस एर नॉट श्योर वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड ऑप्शन ए Actually is rejected, whereas I think this should be the answer. क्या दिया है? That pesticides are transported for long distances by wind currents. Definitely, author is considering that to us only in the last paragraph, right? Till the last paragraph, we are not clear how pesticide might be getting transported from one place to another. And what is the justification given for rejecting option A? Once again, massive LOL. कि भाई देखो, we accept that. Uh, Pesticides are transported by wind currents. We accept that. Official explanation says. Lekin yaar long distances? Na ji na. No. no. Long ka se samjhenge. Or the passage kehta hai. RC 99 wale kehta hai ki bhai hum ko kaise pata. San Huacan to Sierra Nevada distance kitna hai. Can we call it long distance or not? I was like pulling my hair apart. Okay. So once again very confidently I would like to state. I believe answer option should be A. 
if they have given d i would recommend that you ignore it forget about it give yourself plus one right if you mark option d theek hai chalo without any delay let's get let's go ahead last question now function of third paragraph okay this is a decent question third paragraph is what with respect to entire passage i like to call this question category as utility based question aapko kya pucha gaya hai ki third paragraph ka kya role hai as a whole with respect to the passage ye pura passage to aapne puri ramayan to pad li ab batao ki iske na teesra jo paragraph hai uska kya role hai theek hai let's walk through the option one by one option a role of third paragraph is to critic the scientific study given in the first paragraph ki first paragraph pe koi to ek scientific study ka mention hai usko criticize kiya hai uske shortcomings point out kiye hai that is happening in option uh, in in the third paragraph according to option a is that right obviously no because if you take a look at the flow of the narrative there is no criticism of any particular scientific study happening not at all rather the flow of the narrative is very linear in very one direction that okay pesticides are harmful pesticides are up to something bad evil and behind damage to wildlife in this particular geographical area aisa kai pe bhi nahi ho raha hai that third paragraph is going and saying hey hut ye ye jo likha hai paragraph 1 mein ye sab jhoot hai let's prove it wrong not happening okay so option a is out of contention b present evidence to support a hypothesis introduced in the first para okay we can hold this that third paragraph has evidence it has core information which supports what is given in the first paragraph yes very much likely why because it is talking about that dekho aap distance ke hisab se jao to aapko variation milega is chemical mein plus this chemical is harming wildlife properly and uh, first paragraph actually makes this hypothesis that pesticide is interfering with wildlife it damages them it damages their uh, population reproductive ability clear cut third paragraph is given to us amphibian population decline how can population decline when reproduction has been hampered in some way right and who has the potential to hamper it pesticides okay so yes option b is a good candidate nonetheless take a look at uh, other options c provide more details with respect to geographical info given in the first paragraph what the f where the hell is any kind of geographical info present in the first paragraph not at all not at all geography comes in second and third para only so bye 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 option c out d provide more examples of the harmful effect of pesticide as mentioned in second paragraph kill me now first of all no harmful effect of pesticides are mentioned in second paragraph second paragraph is dedicated completely to geography only ki where exactly research is being conducted kaha se samples uthaye hai scientists that's it okay add what is meant by more specific example of harmful effect matlab acha chalo aa jao main aapko aur char tarike batata hu ki pesticide tumhe kis tarah damage pahunchayega aapke haath pair tod dega aapko cancer de dega aapke baal jhad jayenge aisi baatein agar ki hoti if this things would have been mentioned then we could say that ah, okay yes more harmful effects have been given but is that the case no not at all so option d bye bye option e present data to undermine a theory present in the first paragraph hell no undermine mean weaken matlab once again option a and option e are pretty much in the same league ki first paragraph mein koi theory ki baat ki hai usko gali de diya third paragraph mein prove kar diya ki hat ye sab galat hai absolutely not so but naturally what would be your answer answer option would be option e theek hai so i hope that you understood the passage and the explanation very easy very straight forward टू ऑन थ्री थ्री ऑन थ्री बिल्कुल बनना चाहिए आपका विद द एक्सेप्शन ऑफ द एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आई गेव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्वेश्चन टू बट ये अदर देन दैट आई होप डैट यू आर एबल टू गेट इट क्लियरली थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग वन सेकेंड आई वुड लाइक टू एम्फोसाइज इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन गेटिंग कोचिंग रिलेटेड टू वी आर सी फॉर एग्जाम्स लाइक कैट एंड मैट जैट एंड स्नैप गेट इन टच विथ मी ए एस ए पी ऑन द कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर एंड मेल आई डी डेट आई ड्रॉप फॉर यू and i'll help you out with uh, the latest batch details which i take okay till then tada bye bye